Welcome back. I uh, hope you've been doing the comfort challenges and pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. Really important and I hope you felt uncomfortable because you can only get better by being uncomfortable. But today we're going to be speaking about journaling. See a lot of people feel really uncomfortable journaling or they don't really see the point in it. And um, yeah, it's just, I never really saw the benefit from it until I started doing it. Like I always looked at other people doing it or heard other people doing it and the importance of it and I was like, why should I do that? But I'm here to tell you that you should. I now journal daily about everything and it's helped me so, so much. So what is journaling? Journaling is literally just writing. <laughs> writing about anything. A little, little book or journal. Writing how you feel. Writing stuff about your day. Writing... Maybe if you've, if you've achieved your goals or how it's going, like progression. So it's going to help you to have a better understanding of yourself. Like if you can journal, it's basically like writing to yourself. And the more you can do this, the more comfortable you feel doing it, the better you know yourself. Because it's just the reflection of what's in your head. So one, you're going to do it to have a better understanding of yourself. Two, it helps you control and manage emotions. Like, if you're really angry, but you don't really know why, just start writing down why you're angry. I guarantee you'll have, like, pages of it. Once you start writing down, like, ah, oh, I'm so angry, my girlfriend's being annoying, my mum didn't make me dinner, just stupid stuff that you shouldn't really get angry about, but it's just getting to you. I guarantee you, as soon as you've written it all out, you'll feel so much better. Because you'll look at it and think, like, should I really be getting angry about this? Like, ask yourself, what's the worst thing that's come out of it? And it's just you getting angry, which just shows that you're not controlling your emotions. So it gives you a clear understanding and management of your emotions, which is really important. So as well as this, another emotion, it reduces is stress. No one wants to be stressed. It literally shortens life expectancy. The more stress you have, you die. <laughs> Simple as that. But by again writing out what you're stressed about, similar to what you're angry about, you'll see that the worst possible outcome isn't so bad and you stress less about it. Or if it is like something that you really stressed about and you need to come to an answer, think about solutions. So you write down in the center your stressful thought or your problem and then like line from it, I don't know what I'm doing, um, draw lines from it and then just go through each of the possible outcomes. If I take this route, this is going to happen. If I do this, someone's not going to be happy. If I do this, blah, 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 blah. Think about yourself. Think about the best, find the best outcome that will benefit you. So managing stress and overcoming problems helps with that. Another thing it does is increases creativity. Now, you may be thinking, why would I want to be more creative? But an idea that you think about when you're writing, because when you write, stuff just comes to you. Like, you'll be writing and you'll think of stuff constantly, constantly, constantly. You just carry on writing and writing. So one of those ideas could potentially be your next business venture or make you millions. A unique creative idea can change everything, but you've just got to get that pen and paper out and start writing. Literally, I do this for everything. I do it for TikTok, YouTube, even this. I would get my journal out and think lessons or TikTok ideas, anything. I'd start writing one and then maybe struggle on the second one, but then I'd just keep writing, 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 thinking of new stuff, thinking of new ideas constantly pushing my creative boundaries and um, I wouldn't have been able to do this without journaling. So very important, very important. Another benefit is that it improves memory. Memory is very, very important and I'm starting to notice it more and more because I start to see people around me like forgetting things and like they say they're going to do something and they don't do it because they forgot. I'm just like, what? You want to be sharp, sharp up here. Have a really good memory and 
remember what people say, remember facts, remember everything. So it helps you remember stuff. Write it down and you'll remember it better. So yeah, hopefully there is enough benefits to uh, make you start journaling. But again, the barrier becomes, uh, I don't know how to. Just write. I guarantee once you start writing, you'll start to have an idea of what to do, what to write. Just journal. Simple. But some key points that I like to journal about, or when, when I first started journaling, I was a bit lost. I didn't have someone telling me sort of like what to do and why. So I started to write about three things I learned today. This was simple, it was easy, and it just helped me like keep track of journaling and helped me progress to like now where I just don't even have to think about what I need to write. So start with three things I learned today and just write down three things. Could be simple, like I learned something about myself or I learned this while doing it. Just simple. The next one is accomplishment today. So mark each day with an accomplishment. Today I have accomplished something. Because uh, every day you accomplish something. I've used the example before as in brushing your teeth, like setting a goal. Today I've accomplished brushing my teeth. Obviously, don't do that. But if you're really, really struggling, break it down into really simple things. Or it could be today I accomplished giving a presentation to 50,000 people or today I accomplished winning my first boxing fight today I passed my driving test or today I made a thousand pounds today I've worked the hardest I've ever worked like today I've got one percent better and I know that so yeah there's no excuse for you to not to write that every day mark each day with an accomplishment and it'll make you feel better about yourself you'll feel more confident and have a higher self-esteem it's all about building self-esteem so that's another thing to journal about. And then what I like to do is every night I like to plan roughly my day the next day. So tomorrow, really like simple, like no one's going to see it, it doesn't really matter. Six o'clock, wake up. Um, well, I won't even put wake up for six. Then I'll go walk or ice cream or like just really simple, just Plan your day, because once you plan your day, you will get so much more done. So much more done than if you just wake up in the morning and, like, sort of do things as they come. Like, people who don't have a plan for the day, just, they're aimless, no direction. But if you have a strategic plan and a time limit for each one of those things, then you'll achieve so much more in your day. And I also like to review it in the morning, so when I'm eating my breakfast, I'll look at like my plan for today, what I've done already, and I add anything on that I think I should be doing. But yeah, that's another thing that I journal about. I journal about general feelings and my day reviews. So I started off just writing like today I did this. I started off working, then I started doing like just a brief overview of your day. And sometimes it may be really detailed if you feel like it, like even to the fact of conversations. So today I went to work oh, and I had this conversation with so-and-so and we talked about money. We talked about this business venture, whatever. Um, so you can go to as detailed as you want. It's you, it's yours, it's your journal, it's your personal information, but it's just gonna help you so much. Understanding everything better, having a clearer, clearer focus. So yeah, start journaling. Three things you learnt today, one thing you accomplished today, a plan for tomorrow, and a brief overview of your day. It doesn't have to be every day, but try and find a pattern and stick to it. We're going to be talking about routines in some lessons to come, but do it when you feel like it to start with. Even if you're like, okay, I don't really feel like it today, I'm just going to write one line. Simple, one line. It's really not too much to ask for for the benefits that you get from it. So start journaling. And if you don't have a journal or a pen or anything, grab some paper or literally a journal. I've got a little journal. I think it was literally one pound, two pound from Sainsbury's. Easy. You can pick up a journal almost everywhere. Just start writing. It's simple. You can get started today. Yeah. So good luck with it and just write.
I guarantee you will find out more about yourself, your emotions, you will feel more confident, higher self-esteem. I mean, the list goes on. But yeah, start journaling. Peace out. Catch you in the next lesson. Boom, boom, boom.